probably 10, about 10 or so, but uh, since last year, um, I, I don't really go to weddings anymore. Last year, my best friends, Casey and Monica, decided they were gonna have a trapeze wedding and they were doing it in Kalispell, Montana, which is a beautiful place. I had to take a two month certification course uh, to be the best man, um, which was a lot of work, uh, but you know, you do stuff for friends. And being the best man, uh, there was a special move that I had to do where I had to swing out with the rings um, and hand the ring to uh, Casey. He was gonna do a, a special, a flip onto Monica's bar and then where they'd be joined together and then he put the ring on her. But I missed the rehearsal dinner, um, which was a pretty important rehearsal dinner. I had been in Glacier National Park and I'd gotten altitude sickness um, and I'd wandered off into a clump of trees and <laughs> I, I thought it was my cubicle at work actually. I was, uh, an elderly couple came along and they found me screaming into a pine cone. I was trying to sell a timeshare uh, in Mexico and I would, didn't make the rehearsal. And the choreographer Blaine had made one small change in the timing of the move. And it wasn't, it was, it was minute, but it made a, it, it made a big difference. Um, so during the ceremony, I went out, I swung out to give the ring. And of course I was late and we had to do an extra swing. Um, but we, I did give him the ring. Um, and I don't think anybody noticed, but I couldn't help thinking that it was my fault, that my bad timing that caused what happened next. And, you know, I, I mean, why you wouldn't have a safety net is something that, you know, I've kind of wondered since, but, you know, Casey's doing better. And, uh, you know, the other day he actually pointed and he said the word uh, tomato, which uh, was a pretty big deal. I mean, I think it could have been potato, but it, I think it was tomato. Um, and that's, that's pretty cool. So, you know, Monica and I have gotten closer and, maybe too close, but, uh, you know, where do you draw the line in comforting a friend, you know?